Yo, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video. Today we're gonna go over the Zerker buffs that we got this patch. I had a couple of, you know, hours or a couple of experiences using the new buffs with Zerker. And honestly, it is a little bit goofy and it just feels a little bit awkward. And what I'm speaking about is that there's a skill right here in our tree that got replaced. General Disarray is no longer existent in our skill. So, if they replaced it with this skill called Flame Pummel, or Pummel, it was Flame Chain in the Korean patch notes, and basically it works like this. It launches us forward. Keep in mind that this is supposed to be replacing General Disarray. General Disarray was a very quick leap forward, lifts up the ground similar to ground left, but you, li you leap forward, which we lost that, and it got replaced with Flame Pummel. So keep in mind, Flame Pumble is uncancelable in any regard. So like right here, I'm trying to move out of it. It's really hard to cancel out of it. You have to like actually, like actually like play out the whole animation. The quickest way to cancel out of Flame Pumble is what I found is just hitting shift directionals. So doing this little sideways evasion. You can actually cancel it on the first hit of uh, the Flame Pumble. Usually you have to wait until the big blast to actually cancel out of it. With the shake off, but with this, when you hit shift, you could just do it within the first hit. So that would be the quickest way to actually get out of this skill right here. Other than that, the reason why this skill is uncancelable, in my opinion, is that you can cast it when it's on cooldown. So I could just keep on hitting it on the hot bar right here. It has three seconds left on the cooldown. I'm just keep on casting it. Why not? Why not? And I feel like that's why they want it to be uncancelable because we could just quickly cast it. In my opinion, this skill should be used very seldomly. Like, very seldomly. Just don't even use it unless you have to because it just slows you down and makes Zerker feel very clunky. It's really good in PvP whenever you get like a catch using this and you can't go into any other skill. So it goes very well whenever you stun or stiffen anyone. When it comes to a stomp and you have nothing else to go on to and just do that to like actually close the gap and guarantee the combo it's a really good skill to actually follow up on catches a bunch of people tell me the questions like hey picante i can't use flame fumble after i do my stomp you see how there's a little recoil on the stomp right here so you do stomp and then i'm hitting flame fumble you see the little gap that you have if you want to immediately cast it off of a stomp you just hold down left click so Flame Pumble is very cancelable whenever you're just holding down left click. So anything that you like want to instantly cancel into Flame Pumble with, make sure you're holding down left click. That's another thing that is really good with the skill. Obviously, we can't cancel it in the skills right here. But in future patches, they're already showing off and revealing stuff that they're going to make it more cancelable. I don't know if it's going to be like frame 1 cancelable, like how what's the Jump Disarray is. We're going to have to figure out that whenever it releases, but there is hope. This skill isn't that bad. It's actually kind of usable in PvP. Usually whenever I catch people with that, with like, uh, what's that called, a Storming Beast, I mean a Feral Stampede, or just like a, a Stomp, it's really easy to follow up with a guaranteed knockdown from Flame Pummel. Another skill that people like to use a lot when it comes to Flame Pummel is specifically goes into titan blow so whenever you're doing like a pvp combo you go in here you just do this and then you go straight into flame pumble and then you go straight into uh you just hold down shift right click for titan blow it's a really good pvp damage combo but it isn't the best i say do not use flame pumble in a uh pvp setting unless you know you're gonna kill them the standard damage combo puts out way more damage than using flame pumble in a combo okay so it's just really good to basically use it as a follow-up after you get a stiffen. It's a really good follow-up, basically. You go here, you hit him with that, and then you instantly go into a flame pumble for the knockdown on it. It's really good, really good. Do not sleep on this skill for catches. I feel like this skill is really good for catches. It'll be also really good if we could cancel it so we could like get into very saucy redirects with it because you could you honestly could pair it up really nicely with a like a fake out from uh 
this into straight up into an aggressive, you know, play from was it time to rock into flame pummel? It's really good for PvP because the frontal block from that instantly into an aggressive, you know, redirect from flame pummel is gonna be crazy. But keep in mind, flame pummel is like very high risk, very low reward. So just keep in mind, use the skill very seldomly. If you're using this for movement, you better be grinding mobs because if you're trying to fight a sort using this skill to like maneuver around them or a ninja, you're you're just gonna get CC'd pretty easy. So hopefully they make this skill more cancelable so we could actually use it more aggressively, or we could use it as a movement option. It'll be great just to have that going on. Alright, so now that we talked about the new skill, let's talk about the changes for Zerker when it comes to PvE. Honestly, I was wrong. I was going to say, yeah, it does a little bit of damage. No, actually, like, Zerker and PvE does so much damage. It feels like I'm doing, like, I say, like, almost 50% more damage than what I was doing before. Like, honestly, I was grinding uh, Elvia Giants the other day, and I was blasting through these things as if I had the, the boss buff. From killing the Elvia boss. I was waiting for packs to spawn. I was grinding giants last week. Mm. I, I was honestly just, you know, killing them. I wasn't even waiting for the mobs to spawn because I was grinding it slow. But after this PvP change, literally my gear hasn't changed from last week to this week. So, yeah. The PvE buffs are crazy good. Are crazy good. The Flame Pumble buff and um, PvE isn't that good. It doesn't do that much damage. It's just a skill that you put in that's like a filler. What really impressed me during the PvE is honestly the five seconds on the five seconds I got shaved off of Ancient Wave. Ancient Wave getting five seconds taken off is like really good. So I expect more people to be playing Awakening Zerker when it comes to PvE. For PvP, we you just have to manage it. Flame Pump is a good skill for catches, but that's about it. Overall, I see I could see a lot of people getting into Awakening Zerker now because now our PvE is like way less APM to actually grind efficiently, but it doesn't really make the class more dumb in an instance. So like you can still get some saucy movement combos from, from Flame Pumble. But it's just very hard to actually capitalize on anything. So it's very high risk, low reward, but it does look pretty saucy. And those people who are trying to tech with it, like I was fighting Hyperion. Um, he was a good guy. Me and him were basically teching the skill back and forth, back and forth. And he basically told me, hey, Bicante, Flame Pumble into Titan Blow is pretty saucy. And I'm just like, yes, it is. It's really saucy. But it's also really saucy whenever you go into a Titan step and that shit looks so fly so i'm going to show you guys that right now this into that into this right here into the knockdown of the time that mm, so good whenever you land it dude this skill feels so rewarding whenever you land it in pvp not gonna lie i am gonna upload a couple of fights me showing off the new skill and just like basically fighting nba and just getting my ass whooped so yeah it's not doom and gloom you guys it's honestly i see the potential of the skill i honestly see the potential of the skill one recommendation that I would make towards the developers is that, hey, we don't need to cast this on cooldown, bro. We don't want to cast the skill that much. Just make it a hard cooldown that we can't cast, and then just make us cancel out of it. Simply just make us cancel. Just make, make us cancel it. A couple of good cancels out of Flame Pumble is uh, obviously Titan Blow, or it'll be into uh, Blasting, or you could go Flame Pumble into a Ground Lift. So those are the, the good ones that you could put in. Whatever you do, do not try to do Seismic Blast after a Pummel. Because it just looks very awkward. You see how slow that is? That's one of the patches that they're going to put in. So I don't know why they decided to like make it very slow whenever it goes into Seismic Blast. Because I feel like I would go Flame Pummel into Seismic Blast into Scattershot very often if I had the chance. But that, that's just not possible. In my mind, whenever I catch someone with a raw flame pumble like this, I instantly want to go into the seismic and then something like that. So I wish that they could do that, but obviously they're changing it and we're just going to have to wait and see. 
hopefully everything goes by very well and we get the cancels that we've been asking for and that's about it other than that um you know hot barring titan syndrome onto our stuff is kind of awkward um i feel like they could have just what's that called left that on cue because no one no one uses well i don't know if anyone uses flame pummel as q i only use i locked flame pummel and i'm using it on hot bar exclusively and i literally have no problems and it's very good as a redirect especially whenever you're doing the canceled version of raging thunder so flame pummel redirect with raging thunder is really good especially after the lava piercer well i already messed that up but you guys get the point if this becomes cancelable our Zerker spacing game and our like catch game is gonna get really, really crazy. So yeah, hopefully the changes next week or whenever they come out with the next patch that updates Flame Bumble. Hopefully it's a lot better. But right now I see a lot of promise and I honestly would not be concerned. As a Zerker to another Zerker, don't be concerned. Everything is alright. It's not doom and gloom like I was saying before. Because our PvE is extremely strong, bro. Our PvE is extremely strong. Make sure you spam Devastation, Scattershot, and Seismic Blast and Slugfest. Especially Slugfest and Devastation. Those skills have been reworked pretty good. So yeah, with that, you guys, um, catch me on stream. I stream Mondays through Fridays. If you guys want to see more Awakening content, let me know. And with that, you guys, have a good rest of your week. I'll see you guys next time.